<laughs> Why are you crying, criminal juice? Is it because you ate Taco Bell and now you have a fucking diarrhea? No, you stupid motherfucker. I'm crying because guess what? Eminem's new album sucks! It sucks! It's the fucking, it's the piece of trash! Where's the trash can? I, I, I guess my room is a trash can. I just throw it anywhere. That album is fucking garbage. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so shocked. Oh my god, an Eminem album that came out and it's trash. That hasn't been happening since uh, after Marshall Matters LP. Even though I uh, I can say that after the Marshall Matters LP, it's been the, the it's been going, but it hasn't been completely like because the albums after and after it's okay. Like it's like and the plane's like and then the plane like it was a slow like crash 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 it's descending like every album after the other garbage 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 and the funny part about it is Eminem is great obviously we can't pretend like he's not a great rapper he can still rap but now I feel like he raps because it's like I'm a rapper I know how to put words together look at these syllables Oh my god, these double entendres, I am a robot, I am a master of rapping, let me put words together. Like, he doesn't have any soul. And it's like, oh, but Eminem, that happens to, no, it doesn't happen to everyone. Is that the people he keeps around him are fucking garbage people. They're all yes money, yeah, man, haha, <laughs> keep giving me, giving me that check, baby. You could tell Yellow Wolf is like, that shit is really dope, and you know that I want to wear a boat, and I'm going to put a boat. I'm like, shut the fuck up, Yellow Wolf. Fuck you, Yellow Wolf. Fuck your your friend from D12 for lying to you as well. Even though I think he's cool. But fuck them. As in, someone needs to be harsh with you straight up. I don't know, man. I hope you actually watch this review. For some reason, I feel like Eminem is so crazy that he's going to look at everyone's reviews. I hope you run into this one. Listen to me. Because 100% if you do exactly what I say, you're going to make a great fucking album. But who the fuck, who the fuck are you? And you know, he's going to make a rapper of me. He's going to listen to what I'm saying right now and he's going to go, look at this kid on the internet with no intellect. Look at that beat with disrespect. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares about your, that style is complete shit, man. Whatever happened to the storytelling you used to do? You're just a corny ass guy. And your political stuff you do is terrible. It just sucks. It sucks already. This motherfucker. I saw his video. I was uh, last night. I was just chilling, like yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah. And I say, oh shit, look, it's darkness. And I'm listening to it, and I'm like, uh, the video sucks as always. His videos always suck now. They they just they're just trash videos. And then in the end. He talks about a shooting. I'm like, how many times are you going to talk about shooting? And then he looks at these TVs and then they show the American. It's like, shut up with your corny politics and your SJW. Like, shut up, man. Like, I know in your head, you go through a lot of things in your head. Millions of things run through your head, right? And you used to know how to put it on paper and write about it. But I even heard a song on his album that was like, when I was a kid, I went through shit, and I didn't get to eat, and I didn't... I'm like, didn't we hear this story about you a million fucking... We get it, your mom's a fucking whore, she's a, she's on drugs, I, I don't... who I heard this a million times about your life, and you keep telling us about it. I'm like, okay, dude, what is this, Stained? You know how the, the band Stained, it doesn't matter what goes through his life, is always... And my father... Really hates me. Every song is like, shut the fuck up about your dad already, man. Oh, my mom, it's been a bit like, your style sucks. It's like really quick styles. I don't know whatever happened to murder material, uh, what a serial killer hiding murder material in a serial box on top of my stereo. We're going out of mind, you know, like he used to rhyme in a better way. Now it's just, you know, the, the, that video that Chris Adelia made making fun of him. That's exactly how he raps now. The coffins in the boffins in the coffin coffins. Then he goes to the back. 
The boxes and the loxes and the croxes. In a box and a dinner for the fire oxens. I'm like, does do you have any substance to your fucking raps anymore? You mean absolute, like everything you rap about is garbage. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. And fuck all you fake ass uh, Eminem fans out there that suck his dick no matter. That goes for everybody who likes music. And and the funny part is I believe uh, most of you just like music. I actually love music and I make music myself. So here's the funny part about a, a, a fan. I never call myself a fan because fan stands short for fanatic. Fanatics are fucking crazy. I will never be a fanatic of anyone. The only fanatic I want to be of myself because I want to love myself and improve myself. I'm never going to suck the dick of somebody else, like, especially not fucking corny celebrities that keep making horrible shit and people keep sucking their cock. That's why they keep making crappy music because you keep telling them that their stuff is fucking good and it's not. Eminem fans are probably the biggest fanatics. They suck everything he comes out with. That shit's hot, yo. That shit is dope. Yo, 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 yo. That shit is trash. It's garbage. It's been garbage for a very long time. You're rapping about nothing. But here's the problem. Here's the biggest. Here's the easiest way Eminem can easily. First of all, make an album. Make music. Don't ask any of the people around you. Hey, you think this is good? Don't ask Joyner Lucas. You know that motherfucker's gonna say everything you do is fire. Yo, that shit, that shit is dope, yo. Yo, that shit is dope. Can I be on the track? Anyways, don't ask anybody. You want to know what you really need to do is, first of all, the production. That's the part. That's the number one thing for me. The number one thing about Eminem is the production. He has some of the wackest, shittiest productions I've ever heard in my life. And some of the beats are not even that bad. But then he ruins it because he doesn't need... Don't have any more features. Please, just stop putting people on your court. It sounds bad. It doesn't even go with you. You always have some horrible uh, R&B singer singing and it just sounds like the Starbucks music. It sounds bad. Your music sounds like Starbucks music. Whatever happens to Eminem with genius choruses that connect to the fucking verses that had a whole meaning to the whole song, a whole it just it just it's, please stop with the features. If you had Kendrick Lamar, someone like it doesn't even matter. You actually had a feature with Kendrick Lamar on that on Marshall Mathers LP two, which is horrible. It was the worst shit I've ever heard. So please, no more features. No more horrible R and B singers. Get Dido again. Get, I don't know, get that, you know what singer you need to connect with again? Remember that old singer that you used to have? Come on, everybody, get down tonight, you know, that girl that you get in the back, like, hee, 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 whatever, whoever she was, get her back, because she's amazing, maybe she needs a check, I'm sure she does, get her back, please. Um, okay, so, the production, all your beats are horrible, I'm sorry, the beats that you rap on, you in your head, you're like, I'm a rapper, I just want to do some some cool raps on these new beats, you know, gotta try different things out, no, don't try different things out, no, please don't, don't, it's, you sound ter it sounds terrible, you need to go back on production, and I know you're gonna be like, what do you want me to go back, what are you gonna go back, want me to go back on, actually, I don't even know why I'm doing that voice, because that's when he was actually good, when he actually had a, like an Eminem personality, he doesn't do that anymore at all, because he thinks he's too cool for it, I guess, but, uh, um, he needs to, not only work with Dre, but in my opinion, the person or people that will make his album perfect, and this is the person that he has to work with, is the production of Kendrick Lamar. Please contact the people, Kendrick Lamar's team, all those producers, contact them, please, and just work with only them. They will construct something perfect for you. Do you understand? Not all these horrible fucking production and horrible beats that you're on. Please. There's a reason why Kendrick Lamar is always consistent, always makes amazing music, always makes great albums, after one after the other. It's amazing. Please contact him. Or contact the production team. Just work with them. Please work with them. 
that's the only way you have a shot. No yes men. Work with a good production team. And also, t stop, make, make it mean something, please. <laughs> Kib is the most creative song I've ever heard in my life in hip-hop. I never heard a song that much. Also, please get back to your ad-libs, too, man. You're the best at ad-libs. Who's better than Eminem at doing ad-libs? Uh, uh, hello, I'm an alcoholic. My name is Marshall. Hi, Marshall. I got a disease that I don't know what to call it, but hi, Jawal. Whatever, that, whatever. He just used to have the best ad-libs. It all used to make sense. In the background, the stuff, yeah, it's like, come on, man. What happened to all of that? It's like you lost it all, and you're just like, I know how to rap really well. We get it. You're a great rapper. You know how to rap well. But please stop putting out trash albums, putting your time into stuff that doesn't mean anything. It almost seems like you're just being lazy. It's laziness to be like, I'm just going to rap really good. Even though it's the most boring rapping ever, it's that style. That style is terrible. I think I want to go here, and then I want to go there. Then I hit a deer, and, 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 and like I don't get the stops. You're always stopping. I don't understand that. I don't know why you're. It's almost like you have ADHD, and you just. I mean o OCD, and you can't stop doing that stuff. It's it sucks. Please stop. Please contact TDE. Fucking Scott Storch. Anyone who makes beats that just make sense. The beats that you are on are just cookie cutter garbage production. It doesn't go with your style either. It doesn't work. It just sucks, man. And the funny part is I'm an actual supporter of you because if I wasn't, I wouldn't be telling you any of this. So take it how you want to take it. Footy clothed, butt naked. I don't care. And by the way, I love Griselda. The fact that you signed... People that are, are, you know, you're, you're fucking obviously you're smart because you have Griselda. Griselda's amazing to me. They're fucking some of the dopest shit I've ever, I've heard in a long time. They're in their beats. Guess what, match? And well, this is the last thing I got to say to you. This is when I know that I don't, I don't like the way you're rapping anymore. Because Griselda, I was like, oh shit, Eminem's on a Griselda track. This should be really good. I listen to it, dude. It's it's complete garbage. I'm just going to be honest with you. That song is so good. Then when you get on the track, the fact that Eminem can rap to a really, really good beat like that, really nice, grimy beat. I In my head, I'm like, Eminem's going to destroy this. He knows how to rap. He's an MC. He's really, he knows all about hip hop. When he gets on the track, I'm like, this is the wackest shit you can ever write it doesn't even match it doesn't even sound like the they had to switch the beat for you man do you understand that they had to actually switch the fucking beat up just for your style that's how much you're not connected to it's just you're so disconnected they had to switch it for you man that that really made me angry the fact that they had to switch the beat just for you, Mr. Eminem, we got you. We're going to switch the beat because your style does not fucking match whatsoever this song. I wish they didn't even, I wish you weren't even on that album. You, you fucked, that album was perfect. And then when I hear your fucking, your, on that track, it, it ruined the track. I'm, uh, and, and, and yeah, it is what it is. This is actual love, by the way. Uh, you could call it hate. I don't care what the fuck you want to call it. Uh, I just wish you would just take... I, I know you're not going to take what I have to say. You're just going to go, Fuck this kid, and I'm going to hit it in his ribs, and I'm going to butt fuck in a bit. He has to pause. And I'm going to bit a bit. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I just have to make sure I have to say that. Because it's been depressing. It's depressing hearing people that, you know, inspired you, and then they just make the crappiest shit. Same goes for Tool. And I have to make an album up. I mean, I have to make a video about Tool. Because even their new album is complete garbage. All right. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. This is Mega Man, by the way. Maybe play some Mega Man. I don't know what you got to do, Eminem. All right. Suck it.